Great question, because um, prevention is critical um, in ter if we ever want to eliminate or potentially eradicate this uh, disease. And, and I think this is a goal that uh, healthcare providers, public health professionals, uh, and community leaders are recognizing could be a reality now that we have uh, such effective treatments that can cure the infection. Um, right now, education and screening remain our biggest tools um, in, in the prevention toolbox. Um, most of the time when I see a patient with hepatitis C, uh, the majority of that time is spent counseling that patient not only on how to care for themselves, but also on how to protect themselves um, and their partners or their loved ones from, uh, from being uh, exposed to the, the virus. And also if, if I have a patient who uh, is successfully treated, we spend a lot of time talking about ways to prevent reinfection. Um, so counseling is an important part of that that we as healthcare providers can do to uh, aid in prevention of hepatitis C. Um, screening is another important priority area. The Centers for Disease Control has recently recommended that all uh, persons born between 1945 and 1965, the baby boomer generation, should receive at least one time screening for hepatitis C. And that's because the prevalence of uh, hepatitis C in that population is nearly five times that in the general population. So um, in addition to screening those uh, patients, we should also be thinking about screening patients in whom um, the risk of hepatitis C is high. So anyone who has a history of injection drug use, um, sexual exposure to someone with the history of injection drug use, um, transfusions prior to 1992, um, which is when the blood uh, supply started being uh, screened for viral hepatitis. Um, so, so certainly as healthcare providers, um, both educating our patients who have hepatitis C on, on ways to prevent transmission, but also screening patients who may potentially have hepatitis C um, are important prevention measures. I think um, looking towards the future, there are a couple of strategies that hopefully we will be able to adapt from the HIV epidemic, um, but I don't think those are here yet. The first one being this idea of treatment as prevention. So in HIV, excuse me, in HIV, we've moved from treatment as cure, meaning we're focusing on treating an individual to cure that person or, or treat their infection, to uh, focusing on treating individuals in a community to reduce the overall viral burden so that we can reduce the transmission of the infection. And I think a similar uh, approach could have worked in hepatitis C, where the more and more people were able to treat with hepatitis C and actually cure them of this infection, we reduce the viral burden um, within a community and prevent spread within that community. Uh, the other um, strategy from, HIV, from HIV that we could potentially implement is this idea of pre-exposure prophylaxis. So the idea of using uh, medications um, prior to or on a regular basis uh, among those who are at high risk for hepatitis C um, so that they don't acquire the infection in the first place. Um, I think that the cost of, of the medications we have right now, concerns about resistance, um, uh, the fact that they're still new, you know, precludes the, the use of these agents as pre-exposure prophylaxis. Uh, so that's certainly not something that we'll see um, in the near future, but I, I hope to one day consider. And then lastly, um, you know, we've been fortunate to have vir uh, vaccines that work uh, to prevent protect against hepatitis A and hepatitis B. And we've seen, uh, particularly in hepatitis B, how vaccination has really um, dramatically reduced the incidence and prevalence of that disease. So I think that vaccination is another great hope for, for hepatitis C. There's been a lot of recent data um, focusing on the immune mechanisms involved in hepatitis C, so we have a better understanding of broadly neutralizing antibodies and, and sort of what role the innate uh, immune system versus antibody-mediated immunity play in, in, uh, in it, um, treating hepatitis C, particularly among those who are able to, to spontaneously clear the infection. So, so the hope is that there will be some uh, prophylactic or therapeutic vaccines for hepatitis C um, that we can consider in the future.